In this video, we will be going over emulsion PCR, a process used to amplify a DNA sequence, or make many copies of the same sequence. This process is used in numerous sequencing methods. Exceptions are when a sequencing method uses bridge amplification instead, or when the DNA sequencing process is single molecule sequencing which only uses one strand of DNA and thus doesn't need it to be copied. We will be going through an overview of the steps used in emulsion PCR. These steps include library preparation, emulsion formation, clonal amplification, and more. In molecular biology, a library is a collection of DNA fragments that is stored and propagated in a population of microorganisms through the process of molecular cloning. In order to prepare the library for emulsion PCR, it must first be fragmented into smaller pieces of about 300 to 800 base pairs that can be sequenced. The process of cutting up a large strand of DNA, sequencing it, and then putting it back together is referred to as shotgun sequencing. There are various ways to fragment DNA. One common method used is sonication, which shears DNA by exposing it to periods of high sound energy. Another common method is nebulization, which shears DNA by forcing it through a small hole in a nebulizer unit. This results in the formation of a mist that is collected. The fragment size is determined by the pressure of the gas used to push the DNA through the nebulizer. After the DNA is fragmented, the ends are then ligated with adapters. Then the next step is to denature the DNA to single strands by heating it to 95 degrees Celsius. Aided by the adapters, the sequences are then captured on their own unique bead. These beads are then mixed in emulsion oil in order to form fine dispersions of minute droplets and separate each of the fragment bead complexes. This allows for the amplification of each sequence simultaneously without contamination. Microreactors are fragment bead complexes in the PCR reagents in the emulsion miscles, or droplets. Each of these microreactors are ready to start amplifying the sequence. Primers are used as a starting point for DNA synthesis. DNA polymerase, the enzyme used in the body to copy DNA, is then used to add the nucleotides, or the DNTPs, from these primers. Buffers are added so that the pH is at optimum level for enzymatic activity. Miscals produce 1 million copies of each DNA fragment on the surface of each bead. After the amplification using emulsion PCR, it is then sequenced, depending on the DNA method used. This is the work cited for this video.